Hi everyone, welcome to the next Multigo video. As you can see, this one is coming from Reykjavik, Iceland. Uh, as we promised, we released the new Multigo Radium at the Nordic Security Conference. So we thought we'd make a quick video just to show you some of the features for the people that couldn't make it here um, and couldn't see the release. So besides for a whole bunch of bug fixes and some uh, minor features uh, that we'll get into just now, the main feature of uh, Multigo Radium is um, what we call Multigo Machines which essentially allows you to string together a whole bunch of transforms, uh, one after the other to sort of fulfill a whole task, rather than having to know, okay, I run this transform, then on the results I run that transform. Uh, so we're just gonna quickly cover that, and I'll show you guys a bit of how to do that. So I'm just gonna start up my Multigo Radium. You'll see that we've got quite a nice new splash screen and a new start page and things. And immediately once you open the tool, you'll see that there's a, a whole new tab just for uh, just for machines. So let mine start up here. So you can see as soon as you start something you'll see that there's a whole bunch of machines that we pre-include with the tool. Uh, so I'll probably go through a couple of those now. Uh, but basically the way that you want to run machines is you can click on the machines tab here at the top Right, and then you can say run machine and you'll be faced with this uh, prompt where you can say, okay, well, I want to run, say, a footprint or something else. Uh, the other way is if you've got a graph open, so if I start a new graph and I drag in the type. So remember, machines are similar to transforms that will be run on a specific start entity. So even though it goes you know, all the way down, it will start, for example, on a domain. I could take something like Perturva and I could right click and you'll see that now I've got a run machine and I can run something like a footprint L1. So when that's a, a level one footprint, basically just going to do some DNS enumeration and then DNS those DNS names to IP addresses. So if I run that on Perturva, you'll see that now on the right of the screen, it's showing you what it's doing. And it's just doing a whole bunch of DNS. Zoom out a little bit. And you'll see those are resolving to IP addresses. And there you can see them all resolving out. IP addresses are now resolving to net blocks, and net blocks, I think, resolve to AS numbers. So in here on the right, you can also see that there's some output saying uh, it's resolving to IP address, computing net blocks, and looking up AS, and that says it's completed. Uh, so here you can see, okay, well, all our DNS names resolve to IP addresses, to net blocks, and to ASs. So we did a, a really quick footprint, and I didn't have to know the sequence of transforms in any way. Um, one of the other machines that we've got is I'm just going to run it from here now, is a Twitter monitor. So there's two ways that machines can run. Uh, one is a, a sequence of transforms that will run one after the other to get to the final stage or whatever you're looking for. And the other way is that they can run uh, continually um, as a sort of a, a time process. So uh, this one, for example, Twitter monitors, I can put in a phrase. It'll then go and find tweets that were within the last you know, couple of minutes, uh, pull out the hashtags, and then redo that procedure um, you know, over and over again, and remove ones that eventually get too old and are no longer relevant. So if I do that one, I just select Twitter monitor, and I can pick some text that I want to start it on. So in this case, I want to start it on, let's say, London. Um, I say finish, puts down the entity for me, and you'll see here at the right, it says, oh, it's starting to do that. So here I can see that it's, it's doing a whole bunch of tweets, and now it's extracting things like locations and uh, hashtags, anything else that it can find within them and those will start building up. So if I switch it to interactive mode, you'll see here that it's starting to pull out uh, URLs as well, um, and a whole bunch of things from that. So just wait for, for this one to finish. So there you see there's some hashtags coming out. Uh, so if I look at them, I can see that obviously these are related to the Paralympics at the moment. Um, and I can also put it into bubble view, of course. And I can see the different sizes. So obviously London, the biggest location there. Uh, there's some smaller hashtags uh, being used. And now you see that it's finished one iteration. And you can see here, next one is going to run in 30 seconds. <coughs> so that's really nice for doing something like monitoring. Uh, and while we're here, one of the other views that you've got is that you can switch to full screen mode. So now if you're doing something in sort of a monitoring environment and you want to keep track of how things are going, so something like this, I can say, okay, I can still use my graph. Um, you know, I still have the same properties but now I have it in a, in a much bigger screen. Uh, so this is primarily aimed at, at sort of machines that would continually run. So here we just wait for this to, to start up again, and then that will get you all the new results that are coming out. So 
There you can see there's some new tweets that have come out and it's gonna start processing those and I can go through those and just have this continually running. Um, so those are the two basic machines that you've got. I'm just gonna get out of this mode and you'll see here that it'll, it'll just keep running. So I'm just gonna stop that machine. Okay, so um, additionally, of course, you can create your own machine. So if you've written transforms, if you have a certain way that you wanna run the transforms that you already have, you can just click on new machine um, under the machines tab, you put in the, the details, so test, I'm just going to put in test here. And my description is test. And you'll see that you've got some options. So I can make a macro, so that's where the transforms are sequenced one after the other to get to the endpoint. I can make it a timer, so that's where it periodically runs, like the Twitter monitor, or a blank machine, which is just going to give me a blank uh, window to type in. But for this case, let's say I wanted a macro, if I click finish, you will see that it comes up with everything that you need and I can see all the transforms and drag and drop them. So I won't go too much into detail, but uh, on the screen you'll see that there is a, a URL that you can go to uh, to find a full PDF that describes exactly how to build your own machines and sort of where you can, where you can go with them. Uh, then there's some, some other features that we've got. Uh, we find machines tab updating, which is really nice. So you know you no longer need to download the entire client every time. You can just click on here, and you can go to tools, and you can say check for updates, and it'll tell you whether there's um, another update, and you'll get all sort of bug fixes and add-ons that we'll have within the product. And of course, you can disable it if you'd like to. Uh, then we've got some other minor things that uh, within Bubble View you can now customize the view completely. So instead of having just either based on incoming links or outgoing links, you can now specify your own algorithm uh, to do that. So I could say something like customize view and you'll be able to see that there's a whole bunch of options there. I'm not gonna get too much into it. Uh, some other things that have been added is that you can now do manual linking from uh, one entity to multiple. Instead of having to drag one link uh, to each one of them, you can just say, okay, all of these link up to here. Uh, and there's a whole bunch of things that we've put into there. So I think that really covers a quick tutorial of what's available in the new Multigo Radium. Uh, we hope you guys enjoy it and uh, we look, back to, look forward to feedback. Uh, then the, the last thing is that, so it's not available in the community edition yet, but as with everything else that we do, it's first pushed out into commercial and then in a few months time, we'll be moving it into community and you know updating that client. Uh, so it will be there. Um, it's just not available right now, only to, it's only available to for commercial clients. Uh, thank you.